A terrorist car bombed government buildings in downtown Oslo. Then he shot dead 68 teenagers at a Labour Party youth camp. He was an Islamophobe. But like after the Oklahoma City bombings, the knee-jerk reaction for the media was to blame Muslims. But when the terrorist turned out to be a homegrown, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, right-wing Christian zealot, it was no longer even terrorism. The political context evaporated and the whole thing was downgraded to Christian extremism on the part of a lone madman. But Anders Bering Breivik did not act alone. He was electronically mentored by Dutch politician Geert Wilders, recently acquitted of hate speech in the Netherlands. Wilders toured Canada last May on behalf of the Canadian Christian College. He railed to Canadians against what he called the demographic jihad. Of course, the greatest threat to Wilder's ideology is the good example of Canadian multiculturalism. The terrorist Brevik is the offspring of the culture and politics that legitimized his hateful worldview, or Weltenschong, as Uncle Adolf liked to call it. The Murdoch son ran the headline, Hunter Killer, as if Brevik were some kind of new submarine. But Brevik is as much a terrorist as Mohammed Atta, who flew a jet into the World Trade Center, or Timothy McVeigh, who killed 168 people with a truck bomb in Oklahoma City. Or Baruch Goldstein, who shot dead 29 praying Palestinians in Hebron. Or Jared Lochner, who killed six people to get at a Democrat congresswoman. Hate merchants like Geert Wilders, Anwar el Alaki, or their American cousins Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh guide their acolytes to action with words of hate. But only Alalaki takes credit for the results and needs fear death by predator drone. The others lead political parties or host talk radio. For the European right wing, anti Muslim hate is a placeholder for anti Semitism in hard times. But Brevik, the Islamophobe, did not choose to kill Muslims. He opted to kill the progressive kids he no doubt thought of as self loathing Aryans. Brevik's actions were intended to bring on the clash of civilizations the hate mongers so desperately desire. Brevik hoped to spark this crusade as he uploaded his Mein Kampf and his pictures posed in a snazzy uniform and then set off to kill teens at a summer camp. Rex Murphy and other right wing apologists implore us to forget that this is political terrorism. But it is, and it can only be prevented by unrelenting political vigilance. The device of xenophobic hate so useful to fascism has deadly consequences. So go out there now, on every picket line, in every demonstration, and on every stream and wire. Defend tolerance against the incipient fascist hate in every forum and physical space. Use every economic and creative means at hand to resist hate and violence at every turn. Resist the very temptation to resort to violence itself while we still have a choice about it. In Toronto, for Rabble TV, I'm Umberto da Silva.